Hello Mary Meat and welcome back to part 2 of my Make Your Own Pendulum from Jewelry You No Longer Want video. So, last time we got as far as this. So as you can see it's gonna be a huge ass pendulum but I like him that way. So yeah, what we are gonna do now is that we are my chain we got chain, but I don't want to use all of this because I want to add a detail a little bit up the chain. So I'm going to cut off about this much. And again you do the same as ever. Into the bladed part it goes, a little bit less perhaps, that much. Nah. Not much, yes. And squeeze. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Has that done the trick? Like I said, these the pliers need to be changed out, but it needs another squeeze. Either <laughs> these. Necklaces are of better quality than I thought are. And again, always remember the little metal pieces yet put away safely so they don't go into people or kitten feet. And I have a little piece of chain. Now, what I'm going to need to do something with this is I'm going to need a ring. And so I need to go searching for one that I can actually use. And I might as well also just take the detail I want to use off. I want to use this detail here with the three beads. And I might as well take that off. Perhaps I can put that straight on the chain. No, look, because that would make things so much easier. And limit the amount of rings I have to find. But I'm not sure because I'm not sure if these are too uh, thick a gauge to use. I can! Fantastic! So yeah, then I just close it back again. You see, I have this attached to the chain. Then I just have to take it off from the other side. more. When you take something off you don't want to deform the hoops too much because that just gives you more work when you want to attach it again. Just as little as you can. Like this. You can't see anything because of my traffic camera. But yeah, just a little bit. And then let's put this to the side because this is going to be attached to our pendulum eventually. And we'll go hoop hunting again. <laughs> So, yeah. Like I said, doing this is the only thing we have the kind of hoop we need, and I don't think it's welded. Where did I put my other plier? There it is. So, yeah. This necklace might have been a bad example because some of the hoops were welded together, which is a good thing for a jewelry, it really shows more quality. But it's not that good when you're going to take that piece of jewelry apart and make other things with it. Yes, this is welded, but it's not welded very well. Perhaps I can open it anyway. I hope so, because I don't want to spend the entire video looking for hoops. Oh, come on. No? No. Well, we are gonna make a hoop then, because we have some spare metal here. So yeah, open just this piece here. 
As you can see, it's attached to the bead. Just open it. Put the ribbon out of the way. Then we want to take this bead off. And we are just going to cut off this part. Remember to put the excess metal somewhere safe. Take this off. Then we have a little squiggle. You can see. If I put it against my hair, because that's black, so that you might be able to see it. There we go, a little squiggle. And what we now want to do is to make this little piece of metal into a hoop. So the first thing you want to do is to cut off the excess. Because we want a hoop and not a head. There about. Please. Yes. We need to take off a little bit more, but we can form the hoop first because it's always easier to take some uh, something more off than to put something you cut off on again. So yeah, and we just get these into place and. Now we can cut off the excess. Let me just hold it with one plier and cut with the other. Like that. And we can just even out our hoop a little bit. And yeah, I'm not that good at making hoops, so therefore I put little. Yeah, that wasn't very good, was it? Where did it go? Right. Let's do that again! If I keep this up, we are going to be here for a while. Or perhaps this can be opened. Like I said, doing these kinds of crafts, you will make some mistakes at times. Yay, I found a hoop I could open, I don't need to make another one. Let's hope this isn't too thick to fit into our chain here. And of course it is. Like I said, when you buy things, but we're gonna put this hoop aside because we might need it. When you buy these things, it is much easier because then you can just buy the sizes you want and easy peasy done with that. But when you have to sort of scavenge, that suddenly gets a lot more complicated and you have to sort of take what you can find. So yeah, let's make another hoop. And not lose it this time. And what do you want to bet that I'm gonna find that hoop stuck in my feet at some point? Yeah. You fall down at least the bead bumps get stuck in your feet. So yeah, again, let's take a piece of metal. And make it into a hoop. And now before I do that, I spend a lot of time on it because I've seen that... What a holes. Uh, that I'm not going to use all the time for this video on just making this one hoop. Let me just see that it fits first. It does. And we can make the hoop. Now, a rounded tongue with a uh, rounded plier would have made this easier. We can just use it with this. This one is actually smaller. So then we just wrap it around. Easy as beads. Just clamp it down and wrap it around. Wrap it around. And you have a hoop. No, sorry. Hoopish. 
scoop enough. So yeah, then let's just cut off the excess without losing it this time. Perhaps I'm gonna need the part three for this because of my incompetence. So yeah. I hope I will be able to do this for this in this video, but yeah, if I need a part three Well I guess it'll be a part three then. So yeah, now we have a sewing me hoop here. We can open that. Attach our part. Well, the metal doesn't match completely in color between the two necklaces, but it will match enough for our purposes. And then we just going to attach this to the rest of the pendulum. Of course, if you have beads that have several sides and so you have to be more careful at this point, but since our parts are basically since this isn't the issue here because they are all round and nice. We don't need to worry about it. So we just see if we can get this as round as possible. That will make it hang better and that's good. Yeah, that will work. I'm just gonna see if I can trim off a little bit excess there. to make it slightly more brown. There we go. Yeah. And again, metal pieces. Put the way safely. So yeah. Then we have first part of our chain. You can see it dangling nicely. So now we need some more chain to put on top of here, and of course we're going to close this piece off. Alright, let's not do that before we see how we're going to do this. Uh, where did I put the pieces where I had some chain? There we are. So yeah, I'm going to need some more chains. Well, I'm going to cut myself some more. Yeah, cut some chain. I'm going to cut myself some more. There's a difference. And squeezey squeeze. Uh, squeeze. See if that was enough. Nope. It needs to be squeezed more. Squeeze. There we go. And metal piece. Should be stored safely. And I don't want a huge piece here because there's a limit of how long I want this pendulum, so let me see how much I want. This much, I think. So actually, I'm just going to slide this onto that. Onto my little decoration part there. Like that, and I can close this ring. This hoop, I should say. So yeah. Then I want about this much. And then I cut a little bit more than I think I would want, just because sometimes I damage the links beside it when I cut when I have these rather clumsy pliers. Squeeze, squeeze. Needs to be squeezed again. enough times little do what you say. No. It was a very resistant necklace this. Made to last. Unless it meets a crazy bitch with a pair of tongues. So there you see it. I'm gonna damage the the things below it so I'm just gonna cut there instead. Because I don't want any weak links in my pendulums. Because again the flying around and just need to get my hair out of the way. The pendulum bits flying around and hitting people in the eye. We don't want that. 
Could it possibly be any more difficult to get this chain cut, I guess? It's a good thing, because when the pendulum is finally made, it will be pretty damn solid. But it is sort of annoying when I'm trying to make it. Um, squeeze. Here we go. Hallelujah. Metal piece away. So yeah, now we have gotten this far. So now all we're gonna need to do is get a handle on this. So it's comfortable to so it's comfortable to work with. So first of all I want to take up this orange I have here by putting some orange on top. And didn't I have an orange bit of some orange things here that I don't want to use them right now? I think this might actually be actual orange stone, so I can use that later. I knew I saw some orange bits somewhere. This is red, not orange. No. Oh yes, here we are. I'm dropping beads everywhere. Oh well. So yeah, as you can see I want this little orange shape here. And it has a nice little hoop that can easily be used to reattach it, so I'm just going to open it. Slide off the thing that it was on. And slide it onto the new shape. I like it when things are easy. Like this. And then you slide that close. Give it a good little push to make sure that nothing can come off that shape. There we go. So now I could just leave it at that. That works for a pendulum. But I want to have another kind of handle on top of here that uh, to top it off. And that's where these. Flowery earrings comes into the picture. Let's get them out of the package. I think we're gonna run a bit over 20 minutes here, but it shouldn't be too much longer, she said. So yeah, these earrings are pretty, but they're not my style. I'm not gonna use them. And while they don't fit perfectly in the color with this, it's not too bad. And they're completely flat on the back side. So I'm thinking there will be a good handle. So yeah. I want to take them off the card. Goop on my finger, I don't know where that came from. And I want to take them off the stud. Isn't that this is called a stud? I think it's a stud. So yes, I want to take that off, so I just get the dangly bit. Here we go. So yeah, now I have this part. And this is going to be the handle of our pendulum. So then we need a ring to attach it. And luckily, as we were, we had wiring that was a bit too big for the chain, but should fit here. So therefore we will slide that in, it fits just barely, but it fits. And then we're gonna just slide this one into here as well. And then we can close it up and then our pendulum should be done. Imagine that. Giving it a little bit of a squeeze. And yeah. 
Let me just look it over to see that this. I think I want to adjust that a little bit. If the ring had become slightly deformed, yeah, that will hold. So yeah, and there you have it. A pendulum. Now, I don't think I can get this all into frame. Perhaps I could push my camera a bit back. Excuse me. And if I lean back, I might be able to get it all into frame. So yeah. And then you can just use it as any pendulum, like this. Can I have a yes? No. Have a yes. I have a no. Can I have a yes? I have a no. Can I have a maybe? Can I have a wrong asked question? Have a yes. Can I have a no. Can I have a switching position. So yeah, that's a pendulum. Of course, you don't need to make it as big as I have done here. You. Like I said, I like big long pendulums. You could just, for example, just have this part here and attach a chain to that and a little handle. To make it any way you want, with any kind of materials you want. But I really wanted to use this piece and then it would fit better to have. And yeah, so we have a flower handle and some beads along the way on our coppery chain. And really, I got uh, my mother inspired the look of this pendulum because this is just the kind of colors that she loves. So yeah. I hope you liked this tutorial. I'm sorry if I bubbled a bit. So yeah. So as you can see, you can make a pendulum in less time than it takes you to see one episode of um, average like TV series. And this one... I bet to be better build quality than what you can usually buy cheaply at the store and it'll cost you nothing if you have the jewelry there. You don't even need to buy the hoop, hoops and pins and such. You can just use what you have. So yeah. So if I look at our pendulum here. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have a great day. And blessed be.